fantastic to see the community be back together. I was really, really happy to see so many people. I didn't realize when I saw it from outside that this is this huge. Walked in and just, wow, the DeLorean near the entrance and the people, the buzz. Even though I knew that it was being held in this large venue, Manchester Central, I wasn't quite prepared for, for the sheer scale of it. When you have a mixture of companies, different setups, different speakers, it actually allows you to explore topics that you hadn't thought you'd be interested in. I'm here to talk about why wider society should be thinking more scientifically. I became really interested in technology and then for me it was really the 2016 and the election of Donald Trump thinking there is something really weird which has been going on here. Sir Alex was really simple on this. All I ask from you is that you wake up every single morning, you try your very best and you don't give in. I really want people to stop praising and adulating the hackers, thinking they're some sort of Robin Hood figures. The good guys are the guys who are fighting the cyber criminals. Every company is now a technology company. The opportunity is to partnership more with the private sector is something I'm really interested in from a public sector perspective. I'm a big supporter of hybrid working and letting people have a choice and trusting them to be able to come up with their own kind of work plan. You build better relationships, you have deeper conversations. If I had to research all these companies online, it took me flipping ages. Being able to come here in person and to do that and get that exposure is great. You can make those serendipitous connections, but you're not just going to bump into someone on Teams. We are the fastest growing digital and tech hub in Europe. I think it just helps everybody raise their ambitions when they come to an event like this. Coming along somewhere like this, where you have the time, to look around, to talk, to discuss, I think is absolutely vital.